We want to have what we have. You don't want to have, let's say, like it happened to me a few weeks ago, where I ordered my pizza and it came from sardines on it. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. I had to throw it away. Yes, you wouldn't have. You think you would. You don't know everything. <laughs> so, I think you think you know everything. You can't. Let's go. I'm going to get on that. But who would like to have, order? Who loves French toast? I do. Oh, who loves it? Who loves it when it comes out with the syrup? Oh, goodness. Who loves it when they have onions on it? Oh, yeah. No. No, you don't want your French toast to have onions. You want to get what you expect, right? Right? So that's kind of this kind of falls in line with our game today. Uh, we like to call it the brown bag special. All right? All right. So I'm going to need a lot of volunteers today. But I need four first. And then what happens? Trust this person you pick, okay? All right, so let's do this. There are two girls back here. Come on. Yep. And then let's do a boy. Trust, right? What do I have to do? Guess what they're doing? No, no, no. You're going 
gone. Yeah. 
Lauren, can you help me put this on Instagram and Facebook real quick? Where's Lauren? Hey, put it up because I'm doing a great thing. <laughs> so, ah, oh, man, I'm going to take this to the foot shoe. Hey, I noticed your shoe was on tie too. Was your shoe on tie this morning? It is. Oh, man, let me tie that up for you, man. Let me tie that up for you. Oh, man, let me tie that up. Let me take a picture of where I'm doing this. Let me show you Instagram. Oh, you got smiles in there, man. You're going to be on my camera. Yeah, that's good. Look at that. I love it for you. Oh, hashtag service. Hashtag, can I see my shoes? I think I got the shoes in the church. Hashtag, thank you. Oh, man, I'm just doing all things for Jesus. Now, guys, let me ask y'all something. That was a little bit something that I probably won't do, right? Like tie somebody's shoes. But so often, so often in real life, the one about the shelter, like you take doing some good things and doing some good deeds, you want to get recognized a lot of times, don't you? If we're honest with each other, when we're helping out and we're doing God's work, we all like those pat on the backs, right? You know, even when we do what Mr. Jeremy's doing, or what I'm doing, or when Tanya, or whoever, just Tiffany, whoever's up here, or Tyler, or whoever, Mr. Lissa, whoever's doing stuff up here, Stephen with the small group, we want people to know we're doing good things, don't we? We want to take pictures of it, we want to post them up, and we want to show how great we are and how we're serving God. But if I'm honest with you, if we go up what the Bible says, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't do any of that. We're going to read out of the Bible on how Jesus, taking it back, this is back when Jesus was teaching in large crowds. Now, a lot of people thought, or you know, people that have done the research said that Jesus was teaching on things like anger. Who, who struggles with anger here? Anybody? Yeah, Carson, I'm glad you're on it, buddy. I'm glad you're honest. If I'll be honest, I, I'll struggle with it. Okay? Who struggles with lying? Who struggles with any sin, to be honest? Okay, so Jesus was having conversations about those tough topics. And while he was doing that, if we could bring the verse up, John, that's the Taylor boys. Alright, so what's that say right there? Matthew 6 1. I'm oh, sorry, Martin boys. What did I say, Taylor? <laughs> sorry, Martin. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor and Lyndon. I just, yeah. you know, why do you have a last name? <laughs> hey, all right, somebody read this for me. Read it out, real loud. Uh, All right, stop right there. So, what what is what is Jesus saying here in Matthew six one? What do you think Matthew's saying to us, boys? What do you think Matthew? What, what's Jesus saying to Matthew? Tyler, what do you think Jesus is saying to Matthew? Basically, what he's saying is like, don't try to like go out and blow your trumpet. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I just did this, I did that, because um, and. Because like it's, it, I don't know how to explain this. Because I was. You're almost bragging, right? Yeah. You're almost bragging, right? So, so if you don't do it, 
just because your heart is wanting you, your heart is telling you, Jesus tells us to do it, sometimes it's better just not to do it at all. Now, I'm going to challenge you guys. As you get closer to God and, and understand and have a better relationship with Him, you're going to want to do these things. All right, Miss Lauren pulled up yesterday from, from the uh, grocery store and I'm going to go some other stuff. And I went out there to help her with the groceries. Was anybody watching? I'm telling you guys for an example of it. Was anybody watching me do those things? Maybe Josiah, maybe Lydia. Or Josiah, you know, he, he was out doing some other stuff with one of his friends. But the point was that I did it, right? Now, a lot of us only do those things when we're somebody else is around us. Like maybe if our dad was around, and I wanted to impress her dad and her mom. But what does Jesus tell us? Let's see what Jesus tells us when we do these things for the wrong reasons. Go ahead. Next verse. Martin Boyce. What does Jesus tell us? Somebody else read this one. You've already participated. If somebody hasn't participated yet. Hudson, why don't you read it out? Real loud. I'm like, this is a good old layup. <laughs> loud. When you get to me, you are not allowed to they announced that what they do in the synagogue. Synagogues and on the streets. They want to be honored by others. What are, what are about to tell you is the truth. They haven't seen their complete report. Woo! That's what I'm doing today. I figure you should be out walking up there. Y'all not paying attention, right? So look, so what happens? Do we have trumpets today? Are you really going to go on the streets and go with trumpets and announce everybody you're doing some stuff? Are you? Do we have trumpets today? We have trumpet. yeah. No, but what do we have? We have cell phones, right? So what do we do? Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. We want people to know that we're doing good things. Now, the flip side of that, listen, guys, I'm not saying some of that. Some of that, it's good to post out there, right? It's good for people to make aware of people of what's going on in the world as well. Because it's not nothing but filth you want to do. But don't make it about yourself. That's what we're saying today. So let's break up into groups. We're going to break into groups. And I'm going to give you different scenarios. And through these scenarios, I want you to creatively think on how we can do things differently. Okay? So, Stephen, if you take half the boys. Uh, I'm trying to think how we split this up. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to think. There's a lot more female leaders here. <laughs> yeah, but we, I'm going yeah, to do Jeremy, why don't you take that line out there? Tanya, you take the third line behind you. Jeremy, if you take the second. Steve, second line, come with me. Let's go. Right here. Lauren, can you take the front line? Where are we going? So this is right the back line. And we take it and just help out wherever we can. All right, so what we're doing, we're going to be looking at stuff. We're going to be looking at different scenarios. I'm going to tell you what the scenario. Listen, guys, listen. Because I always get in trouble because I run over. So listen, we're going to talk about different scenarios. We're going to see the scenario on the screen. And you guys need to come up with a creative way to maybe do that same, have the same end result without without getting recognized. Okay? So that's what we're doing. We're talking about serving God without announcing to everybody. All right, go ahead. First one. All right, so this first one right here, what's it say? I have Okay. Well, what's it say? I throw All right. So we got somebody that needs money, right? Somebody that maybe didn't have their lunch money that day. Their mom didn't pack, or didn't pack their uh, food, or their dad didn't pack their food. Whatever it may be, didn't have any money to pay for food. So here's this guy saying, "Hey, I'll loan you the money." And then he's supposed to say, "Hey, bro, needed some money, so I spotted him." Who might say no? What's the different way that they could have done that? Well, don't tell me. Talk to your group about it. Talk to your group about it. What's a different way they could have done it? Got 20, 30 seconds. 30 seconds.
Buy the food and drop it off there in front of them. That's good. That's really good. I like that. T Bird. Okay. So don't don't post it. Don't do anything. Just do it. Jeremy. We said that he could uh, walk up to because it might embarrass. Not not only showing out, but it might embarrass that young man. Yeah. Just walk up to him and say, Hey, here's a couple bucks. Give me back. Awesome. Awesome. I like it. I like it. Do it discreetly. What's what's what you got? It's the belt. Like, you could, like, you could, like, you know, send the same name, but you can also, like, write about it and not post it because it might hurt his feelings because then he might be struggling and he might not want to see it. Got it. Awesome. Awesome. You could put money envelope in the teacher's hand, have it to get it, and then, like, that thing has more money and don't post it. Okay. All right. That's a good one. So give it to the teacher. That was not so embarrassing. Let's come up from a classmate and let the teacher give it to him, right? I like it. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. All right, so here we go. You're working at the animal shelter, right? Animal shelter serving today. Furry friends are friends too. Okay? So, we, hey, we're all guilty of this. I can tell you that right now. We're, both of us are guilty of this. We're in the shelter or we're somewhere giving back to the community. And we're posting things like, hey, look at me. I'm at the shelter helping out. Right? So let's think about some other ways. Let's think about some ways to do it, to do this uh, differently. Y'all talk about it. 23 seconds. All right, time to go. Time to go. Let's talk to the girls right here. Abby, what you got? What you got? Okay, I, I like that. So you're telling people, hey, listen, we need more help. Come by here. And you actually even did a great thing. You said, Gracie, and our group said this. And so you're taking, like, hey, I didn't say this, right? That's good. That's good. Um, you said, you know, not everybody has to know where you are 24-7. Nobody has to know where you are 24-7. Yes, I like it. I like it. Good. Boys, hey, come by the armor shirt today. we got plenty of fits and need to do home. Love it. Love it. So that, that's the way to announce it. Hey, listen, we need help. And, and, and that might have been the intention of this young lady. A lot of times we don't know what their intentions are. But maybe doing it differently, right? Uh, then, what about when you said animal shelter serving today? Come on and join me. Like it. Come join me. Come help. Boys, we just said uh, no, no. Ooh, how about that one there? Wow. How about not posting anything where people don't even know what you're doing, but you're giving back to the community? How about even if you, instead of going to the front, you went to the back and did some of the behind the work scenes? You know, there's a lot of people that, and, and I'm not saying this, so for, my, for me, for Mr. Jeremy, right, we are the face for our company a lot of times. People don't see what goes behind to make all that happen. A lot of people, there's so many people behind the scenes that are making things actually work. We couldn't be successful without them. You've got to have those people behind the scenes, right, Mr. Jeremy? A lot of people don't see that, though. Same things with the teachers. They may have some people behind behind them getting some prank stuff, prank maybe. I don't know. Yeah, no. All mama, so she just gets in and early. Some of the things that happen here, right? A, a lot of you guys see, come up here, and, and Mr. German did an awesome job with, with the uh, game show. I'm, I'm hopefully doing okay with this. But y'all don't know all the prep work that goes in behind this. You don't hear Mr. Corey coming in and saying, Yep, yeah, I prepped all that for them. Yep, yeah, I did that. Right? Or, or even better, volunteers are coming in that you guys don't even know about throughout the week that are going out to get the supplies. Setting up the chairs. You know these chairs don't magically appear. 
There's more. All those slides don't just magically come, come to, the, to the computer. It's a lot of planning. But you don't hear about that, right? You don't hear about the lives that are being saved outside of what we're doing every day. Because why? We're doing it because of the right reasons, because of God. Think about some of those things. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, I know it's going to be like two months since Christmas. It's been two months, right? But what, a lot of you are already ready for Christmas again. For the wrong reason. But let's look. Remember my huge donation to Tower and back in Christmas last year. They were so stoked. Yeah. They were so stoked, baby. I gave so much. They were stoked. All right, let's talk about that. There I go. Johnny, get involved, buddy. Okay, so he's trying to bring it. All right, all right, let's go around. Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. We've got four, three, four starting us off, kicking us off. I mean, you know, what is that? What is that? How is that? How is that? All right, good news. Say what? I like it. Johnny said, hey, I like that. So you put it in a big box, whatever you want to donate, and you just ship it to them. Okay? Don't post anything. Don't post anything. Just ship it to them. Okay? I like that. So they're still getting all the gifts, but it's anonymous, right? T Bird. I mean, it's a good thing you did, but this is his second time writing about it. Right. Yeah, go back. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Is that tea for Thursday or Tuesday or what's the tea? Thursday. Thursday. So it's just about, hey, look at me doing all these cool things. Like it. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that when I was reading this. He's going doing it again because he's already done it once. That's true. Very true. Boys, those should have never been made at all. It's a throwback. I mean, it's, that's all he would do was try to brag on himself. If Toddler Land does need donations for the next Christmas, he wanted to post something later on and said, hey, don't forget about Toddler Land and taking donations and trying to. This is a, this is a straight wow. card for me. Yeah. I like both of you. Like it, love it, so you just don't even post it, period. We said that you could post that picture, but like, you could put like, there was so much given at Toddler Land this year, why not? I like it. So you, you so you're raising awareness, right? Because that's a good point. We gotta somehow raise awareness. We talked about this in the previous post. We gotta raise awareness. We gotta figure out how to get get it out to the community. But don't do it about yourself. And like the timing when you did it was like like it was months after. So like you like if you did that, well you can't go big if it came out July. Yeah, so maybe wait till like October. Or hey, last up to your point there, yeah. Girls? <laughs> Good. Thank you, Grace. That's awesome. All right, let's find our seats, guys. So it, it's kind of—I'm not going to say it's—I'm not going to say it's a coincidence, right? I'm not going to say it happened. I'm going to tell you something. Yesterday, we we're sitting at uh, Chick Fil A for we were eating uh, lunch, and Miss Lauren was reading the newspaper. And I'll, listen, God works in awesome ways because it, it had a story about two police officers that they were in the courtroom. And this elderly gentleman, I don't know how old he was, but he was decided for not keeping up his guard. Okay? So there was a citation. Do you know what a citation is? Yeah, like, kind of like, yeah, it's a ticket. It's a ticket, correct. There was and a then, fine. And there was going to be a fine if he didn't get it fixed by a certain time. He had 30 days. 30 days. Had 30 days. Had a month, okay? Well, this police officer had two officers just let it go and say, hey, you know what? Tough love. Your old man, get figured out how to do it. They can do that. They got together, 
and then went to the old, older gentleman's house and they cut his yard, they groomed it, and they got it looking good. Now, it made the newspaper, but if you read about it, the police officers didn't go up to Tom Jordan and say, hey, write about us, look what we're doing. Somebody leaked out the story and they showed up when they were doing it. And, and what was awesome is Lauren, I tell you, she read the story. They said, this is a way we glorify God. This is not about us. It's not about the recognition. It's not, go ahead, Lauren, because I know well, you want to talk about this about the details. No, 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 I was just going to say, at the very end, he specifically mentioned about not wanting to be the it to be publicized. We're not doing it to be publicized. Yep. You know, I think the story got leaked out. His wife. You know, whatever. Yeah. But this was not his purpose. Was to <laughs> come take our picture and put it in the front page. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's a good way to do it. I mean, there's a lot of times, guys. You're gonna see your neighbors need help. You're gonna see people in the neighborhood need help. Uh, cutting grass, picking up limbs, whatever that may be. You know, you do that because God's calling you to do it, not to find and get pat on the backs from them. Now, we all like those. Listen, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you that good deeds should not be recognized. When you're doing something good, it's not people we as Christians as well should be given to. Hey, that was awesome. Thank you for your help with that. Right? But it's not on us. Don't, don't make it about you. Don't make it about, hey, I'm doing this to be recognized and show people how great I am. Like Ms. Lawrence said, do it because you're glorifying God. And it specifically said at the end of the story, this is not about getting things on paper. It's about us being a community. I, I love that one. Yeah, being the hands and feet of God. All these pictures that we saw today, guys, they're, they're all being the hands and feet of God. But guess what's happening? Let's, let's, let's read. I think we've got a few more verses that we need to talk about right now. We'll, we'll, we'll be done. So be careful not to do good works in front of others. Don't, don't do them to be seen by others. If you do, your Father in heaven will not reward you. Go ahead. When you give to the needy people, do not announce it and have the trumpets, right? We talked about all this. Blown, do it to be like those who only pretend to be holy. They announce what they do in the synagogues and in the streets. They want to be honored by others. What I'm about to tell you is true. <coughs> they have received their complete reward here on earth. Keep going. When you give to the needy, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Okay? Don't go around bragging about it. If you're doing some good things, do it for the right reasons, guys. Okay, don't go around telling folks. And we end up with this. Then you are given to be, uh, then your given will be done secretly. Your father will reward you. He sees what you do secretly. The end. It's the end game, guys. It's the purpose of our lives. Think about it. Are you wanting to get rewarded here? On earth or in heaven? Now, does this mean we stop doing good things? Yes or no? No. It doesn't. It doesn't. Whether it's your mom, it needs to start with your parents. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because you know why? Because they're the only ones who's going to know about it. Right? They go leak out of God to the public and do good things. You don't have to get uncomfortable. We all need to be uncomfortable at times. Because a lot of times, helping others, get uncomfortable. You get uncomfortable. And whatever God's put in your heart, you need to do it. So when we go, uh, we're going to do some awesome worship. And before we, after we do that, we're going to do commun uh, communion. But think about this. This is a question we want to talk about today in small group. What would you do you knew serving others, helping others, helping your community, serving your community, was never recognized. Would you still do it? Would you still do it?
You know, I think a lot of times about people in the sound booth. I think like Miss Lauren says, it's the chairs downstairs, all that getting put together before a service. Everything that's going on at City Station all the time. I had the privilege to come up here about two weeks ago on a Tuesday. I've never been up here but on a Tuesday night. There's so many awesome things going on in here. And it takes people, it takes resources, and it takes loving God most of all to do those things and not be selfish with your time. So let's pray real quick and the preacher's going to come up here and say, Lord, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this message. Father, we know we're wired um, to be selfish. Father, we're wired to be just to be recognized. Um, get out of the bags and to, for people to see the good things that we're doing. But 